I ordered this thing off of AliExpress, and even though it looks like a Chinese knockoff at $70 Canadian, which uh, isn't even real money, uh, I thought it was worth taking a chance. The telltale signs that it might be a knockoff is that the bezel is plain. There's no writing on it. And also uh, some of the uh, injection molded parts, such as the uh, focus knob, here has a dimple in the center. I ordered this thing in November and uh, it floated across the Pacific on a raft for a few weeks. And I had pretty much given hopes on uh, having it here in time for Christmas. But then on December 24th, around four o'clock in the afternoon, the doorbell rang and what must have been Canada Post's last delivery, there it was. No Santa Claus. Thank God he lives and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, 10 times 10,000 years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. And it gets even better. They didn't send me what was shown in the picture. You'll notice that it says microscope here on the bezel of the uh, screen and that there is no dimple in the center of the focus knob. And just by the overall build quality, I think that they sent me a true Mustool brand. The main reason I bought this thing is for electronic work and that uh, we're going to get there, but on our way, I'm going to investigate three claims that are made by the manufacturer. The first is, does this thing really magnify 1200 times? I've placed a ruler under the microscope. Each one of those divisions is one millimeter. We're gonna zoom in on that. Okay, that's maximum magnification. If I measure this on that 7-inch screen, and by the way, guys, I went with the 7-inch because it's only about $20 more than the 4.3-inch. You know, I get maybe 75 millimeters, like 75 times. That's a far cry from 1,200, right? But through the USB port, this image can be on a 60-inch TV screen, right? And now all of a sudden, the center distance between those two marks is 1,200 millimeters, 1,200 times, without using tricks like cropping or anything like that. But still, I think we'd all have to agree that we'd have to take that claim with a grain of salt, right? I would say this is still pretty impressive. Very cool. And I think that we could have a lot of fun with all kinds of household items underneath here just to uh, toy around with. But could it do uh, biology type uh, work? I don't think so. And it's a subject that I do know a little bit about because uh, as a youth, I was really into that stuff. The community that I was raised in had uh, no municipal services. And um, every residential lot had its own septic system. Uh, back then, money was tight and uh, regulations were loose and uh, the ditches that lined the street were hog heaven for a kid like me with a microscope. And when you look at microscopic life, it's one of those things that I think is best done up close and personal. Uh, go optical. The second claim made by the manufacturer is that the ability to tilt the microscope gives it a big advantage over models that can't do that for the elimination of glare from these LED lights. So we're going to test that. I have two boards here, an STM32 that we're going to try to read the writing on top of that IC chip, and another board here which is actually the low-toe waveform generator. And there's a chip with a metal casing here with some writing on it. And that should be a very good test for this glare claim. Let's run the test by first trying to read the writing with the microscope in a perfectly upright position. Here's the metal encased uh, chip. Um, 
there is definitely some reflection of the LED lights on that. Uh, some of it can be made out, some of it much more difficult. This is the STM32 chip. I'll try to focus on that as best I can. This is kind of a gold colored writing against a black surface. It's very hard to make out actually. So let's tilt the microscope about 15 degrees and see how we make out with that. And here's that uh, metal uh, one. Look at that. It is definitely much easier to make out. And the STM32 board. I can maybe focus on that a little bit. Yeah, definitely big improvement. They're onto something with that claim about the tilting of the microscope eliminating some of the LED glare. I like that. I mentioned in one of the videos that some of these STM32 development boards and some of the HC-06 uh, Bluetooth modules come in uh, as duds, that there are issues uh, within them. And I think that the ability to make out some of the writing on some of these chips might help uh, get to the bottom of some of that. It's one of the reasons I picked up this microscope. The third claim made by the manufacturer is that this microscope has an infinite working range, that it can focus as close as 10 millimeters from the object, and at an infinite distance away from it. We do know that it can focus at 10 millimeters because the salt grain example was done at that. And I can tell you that I pointed this microscope at the trees across the river at about 300 yards and that the microscope was able to focus on them. So I think their claim about being able to do infinite is valid. To give you some reference of the magnification at the very top of the column, I've got a poker chip here. We're all familiar with roughly the size of these things. I'll put that under the lens. And that gives you a bit of an idea at that height what kind of magnification we get. For electronic work, the advantage to all of that is the ability to come in here and have enough working room to be able to come in with our soldering iron or the hot air gun. And with the SD card feature in here that can video at 1080p or take pictures at 12 megapixels, as a content creator, this is going to be a very uh, helpful tool for me. I think this is a keeper.